In this video, I'll show you how to create a CSS hamburger animation. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If you're just starting or even thinking about starting a career in web development, you're in the right place. I upload new videos every week. Hit subscribe and the bell to get notified. So I want this to be a shorter video. We're going to go a little bit quicker than normal. Let me know what you think about this video format. Would you rather that I slow down and explain things more, or do you like the fast paced, just show you how it's done? All right, so we'll start by creating our index.html. We'll close the sidebar. We'll use Emmet to create a boilerplate. We'll name the CSS hamburger animation. And then we'll include a link to our style sheet that we will create in a minute. And then for the markup, we're going to create a div with the class of menu button. And then within that, another div with the class of menu button burger. And that's it for the markup. So let me save this. And then I'm going to use Live Server to open this in the browser. And of course, we're not going to see anything right now. So let's move on to our style sheet. So let's create that. And we'll start out here with some normal resets, margin zero, padding zero, and box sizing border box. And the body will set the background to a dark gray color. And for demonstration purposes, uh, we're going to display this as flex and justify content center and align items center. And we're going to set the minimum height to 100 view height. That's it for the body. Next, we'll target the menu button. And we're going to set the position on this one to relative. And again, we're going to display this as flex, justify content center and align items center. We're going to set the width to 80 pixels and the height to 80 pixels. Set the cursor to pointer. And let's set our transition to all 0.5 seconds. And we'll set an ease in out and then just so you that you can see this i'm going to set a border of three pixels solid and white all right let's save this and see what we have so far perfect we have our menu button in the center all right so now let's start on the burger so we have our menu button burger so in here we're going to set a width of 50 pixels a height of six pixels background of white a border radius of five pixels we we'll have a box shadow that's a faded orange color and then set our transition to 0.5 seconds as well now i know that with transitions box shadow is not going to be great for performance if you're worried about performance you can leave the shadow out all right let's save this and see what we have so far so now we have the middle line in the burger let me zoom in a little bit there we go so now let's work on the top and bottom lines. So this time we're going to target our menu button burger before and the menu button burger after. We'll set the content to blank and the position to absolute. The rest of it's the same as the regular menu button burger element. Next we'll look at the menu button burger before on its own. And in here we're going to set the transform to translate y negative 16 pixels. So we want the before line to move up 16 pixels. Next, we'll target the menu button burger after, and we'll do the same thing, except this time it will be 16 pixels, so we want it to move down 16 pixels. All right, let's save that and see what we have now. All right, now we have our before and our after. So now that we have the button complete, we need to work on the actual animation. So for that, we are going to have to use a little bit of JavaScript, but don't let that scare you. It's gonna be easy. So first thing is we're going to create a JavaScript file. So we'll name that main.js. And then in our HTML, we'll need to include that. So at the bottom, just before the closing of the body, we'll enter a script with a source of main.js. And that's all that we'll need to add to the HTML. Now in our JavaScript file, we're going to create our constant for the actual menu button. We're going to name that menu button. We'll use document.query selector, and we're going to target the menu button class. We're also going to create menu open. So we need to know if the menu is open. Initially, that will be false. And then we'll add an event listener to the menu button. It's going to be a click event. And we'll use an arrow function. So then we're going to say if menu open is false. So then we're going to use the menu button. We're going to add a class to it of open. Now that it's open, we need to set our menu open status to true. All right. And then if it's open, we want to do the opposite. If it's already open, we're going to remove the class of open and we're going to set our menu open status to false. All right, and so that is all of the JavaScript. We're just listening for the click. And if the click happens, it's going to either add the class open or remove the class open. All right, so I'll save that. And then to demonstrate that, let me open up the tools here. All right, so here is our menu button and watch as I click it, it adds the class open. And I click it again, open is removed. So that's working. Now let's go back to our CSS and we'll need to add a little bit more. So this is going to be the animation. And then in here, we're going to target our menu button dot open and then the menu button burger. 
So what we're targeting right now is the middle line. So we want to transform and translate the X value, which is the horizontal value, a negative 50 pixels. So that's going to make it move off to the left. And then we want to target the background and change that to transparent. So that goes away and then set the box shadow to none. So I'll save that. And if we click it, it should disappear and go to the left. So the whole thing moves and then the middle one disappears. All right. And so now let's target our menu button open and then the menu button burger before. On this one, we're going to transform and we're going to rotate 45 degrees. And we're also going to translate the X value will be 35 pixels and the Y value will be a negative 35 pixels. And lastly, the menu button open and menu button burger after. We're going to do the same thing on this one, transform, rotate, but this time will be a negative 45 degrees. And we're going to translate the X value of 35 pixels and the Y value of positive 35 pixels on this one. All right, now I'll save that and watch as I click. We have an X. The middle one goes to the left and disappears. Now you can do a lot of things with this. You can have this middle one shrink into the middle, go to the right, up, down, whatever you'd like. That would just be changed right here on this line. And so for this demonstration, I added the border just to, to show you where the actual element is. So I'm going to remove that. I'll just comment it out. So now we have our completed CSS hamburger animation. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. Let me know what you think about these quick videos and just the quick how to. If you liked this video, a thumbs up is appreciated. I upload new content every week, so hit subscribe and the bell to get notified. And if you think this video or any of the videos on my channel might be helpful to someone else, please share them. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram at CodeStacker. Thanks for watching.